everyone and welcome to the SOB 3D YouTube channel. A warm welcome to the fourth part of this SOB 3D Nino Dev Kit series. Be sure to check out the previous videos in this playlist to get up to speed with what's been going on thus far. In this part of the series, we'll be rigging our clothing item and importing into IMVU Studio. It is a very easy process, so let's get started. Before I begin, I want to go ahead and say that I already exported the top we made using Marvelous Designer from the modeling blend file after we were done baking textures. If you've been following thus far or are familiar with Blender, exporting an object shouldn't be something strange to you. Also, it's very important you have the IMVU Studio Dev Kit installed in Blender and that you are following this tutorial with the blend file tagged Studio. This time around, I exported the object as an FBX, so let's go ahead and import that FBX. Since I'm importing something I exported from the modeling blend file for this dev kit, there's no need for any scaling since the scaling of the studio blend file and that of the modeling blend file are the same. You can go ahead and verify your UV maps are in order before proceeding with the rest of the tutorial. To rig the shirt, first select the body, then shift select the shirt. Press Ctrl plus Tab and change to weight bed mode. Under weights, select transfer weights. Open up the menu and set your vertex mapping to nearest face interpolated and your source layer select to by name. Tab back into object mode and select only your shirt or clothing item. Shift select the armature and press Ctrl plus P. Click with empty groups under the D form. After, click on Limit Bones in the IMVU Studio 2K panel. You can now tab your armature into pose mode or drag across the timeline to test the results of the rigging. By the way, rigging and weight painting are synonymous with each other. We have two ways of exporting our rigged object. For the first method, make sure your object is the only thing in the clothing exports collection. Then, you select your rigged object and click export in the IMVU view studio 2k panel a file will be created in the same folder as the blend file be sure to take a look at it and rename it to whatever you wish for the second method select your clothing item then shift select your skeleton go to file export fbx make sure you have check selected objects. Uncheck Bake Animation and under Armature, uncheck Add Leaf Bones. Go then and click Export FBX. To import our product into IMVU Studio, open up IMVU Studio, search for SOB 3D and look for the base Nino top. Select it and click Derive. Once the scene is loaded, click on the Import icon and select Import FBX. Select your FBX and proceed to Setup. Leave the scale as 1.0 and set the ID to any number you feel you won't clash with other products. We use 70 in this tutorial, but it's always something you can change later on. Check that your materials are in order. Import textures in case they haven't been imported already using the first box. The second box is for opacity maps, then normals go in the third box, shine maps in the fourth, and emission maps in the fifth. Be sure to not import any animations by unchecking the animation checkbox. Review and import. If your textures were assigned to numerous places, be sure to unassign them from the places they shouldn't be assigned to. Add the mcg.jpg file as the opacity map to the 00, zero material to show the avatar skin. Set your materials to double sided for a more complete look. And your clothing item is now ready for export to the shop. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you found the video helpful. Be sure to check out the concluding part of this series where we walk through a similar process for importing rigged clothing items to the classic IMVU client. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the SOB 3D YouTube channel. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section below and I'll see you all in the next part. Thank you.